What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on using some cool off meta teams. We got Dialga today featuring Hatterene, Life Orb Zapdos, and Celesteela. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that let's go people scroll down a little bit click that big red subscribe button join the community and help support me as a content creator. it really does go a long way so seriously shout out to all my subscribers you guys are the real ones you guys are seriously the real ones but like i said today we're rocking out with some off meta team we got the alga in the top left corner to get our team preview started it has telepathy as its ability so you know allied pokemon cannot hit it with any moves we also got the adamant orb which is his basic item and then we got roar time flash cannon built for stab coverage moves gonna be earth power and then we have trick room you know to set that trick room and take speed control for the battle next pokemon is going to be live part a great little support mon for any team it has prankster ability focus ash has an item so it can't get one tapped it also has fake out for flinches snarl to drop special attack fake tears to drop special defense and last but not least copycat and copycat can work really really well with the alga over here because i can go into a dynamax with the alga max guard with the trick room and then copycat his max guard and then have him protect it and pop a trick room at the same time. So it's a really cool combo. Cannot wait to showcase it off and hopefully we get to use it and grab ourselves a win with it. Middle left is going to be Hatterene. And this is one of the reasons I picked this team right here. I haven't used Hatterene in so long. Hatterene is such a cool Pokemon. One of my favorites from Gen 8 and it rocks really, really well in that trick room. So we're going to be using it today and I think it's G-Max form. I do think it's G-Max form so we're going to get a lot of value out of it in the trick room. Magic Bounce is its ability, Pixie Play as its item, and then we got Expanding Force, Misty Explosion, Mystical Fire, and Trick Room for this thing's moveset. Right next to him is a top tier meta Pokemon for this team. Cannot go wrong with Zapdos over here. Static ability, Life Orb as its item, and then it's a fairly normal moveset with Discharge, Thunder, Hurricane, and Heat Wave for this thing's moveset. Bottom left hand corner is an Intimidate Mon. You cannot get a Series 11 team in here without an Intimidate Mon. We got Landers over here, Assault Fest, and that uh, Intimidate ability, like we already said, and then we got EQ, Rock Slide, Fly and you turn for this thing's moveset. Final Pokemon for the squad is one of the best Ultra Beasts in the game. That is Celesteel over here. Super bulky, can hit really, really hard as well, and it is great in Dynamax form. Beast Boost has its ability, Power Herb as an item, so we can use Meteor Beam in one shot, and then our other three moves are gonna be Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves, Air Slash for stab, and Flash Cannon for stab. Guys, that's the team right there. If you want it for yourselves, we got that rental code right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Dialga and Hatterene Trick Room team. I love using off meta teams, but the problem is using them in the master tier. We are sitting at about like 3,000 in the master tier, so going up against a lot of meta teams. Off meta teams are really tough to get wins, but we're going up against a Groudon team here. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. He also has Grimmsnarl, Charizard, Incineroar, Venusaur, and Galarian Articuno, who if I had to guess, can pop Trick Room, can counter Trick Room, and is also holding that focus. So how should we go into this one? How should we play this one? I'm kind of thinking maybe just popping a Trick Room turn one. Maybe going into Dialga alongside with Live Park, because Live Park can get this off really, really easily. Is that my play? Then maybe pop in Trick Room, having Live Park go down, maybe Snarling, um, or using Fake Tears. I kind of like that. We can show off the Dialga combo right off the rip, bring Hatterene in the back end. Then last but not least, either Zapdos or Celestial. I'm liking Zapdos here. The only Pokemon I'm not liking it up against is going to be that Groudon, but I feel like once we get rid of that Groudon, we can be thriving in this battle, and we can grab ourselves a win here. But before we hop into our first battle, one, make sure you guys follow to my Twitch page, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream five plus days every single week. Name is right below the face cam, and there's a link down in the description below. But also, guys, let me know for question of the day. Who are your top three favorite Pokemon for Generation 8? I think Generation 8 had a lot of cool Pokemon. When uh, Generation 8 first came out, I was just like, yo, I don't really like any of these Pokemon. And over time, I was just like, yo, a lot of these Pokemon are actually sick. Like, I love Hatterene. Grimstar is cool. I do not have a top three, but I just think a lot of them are cool. I think the starters are really cool in this gen. I really do like them. Uh, and I, but I do really like Grapplock. Grapplock, the little fighting octopus. It should have been water typing as well. Should have been water typing as well, but it's not. And I wish Copper Azal was like ground typing or rock typing as well, but it's just steel. And I do like Copper Azal. But he's going to leave these two, which is totally fine. Intimidate's really going to do nothing onto us. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? I might just uh, fake out the... I might just fake out you. And not even Dynamax this turn. And maybe just go straight into a Flash Cannon. Get some damage off onto this Grimstarl. And then go into that Trick Room combo next turn. We shall see what this guy wants to do. We shall see. But if we can't get off Trick Room, that's totally fine. If we can't get off Trick Room, that's totally fine. We still have to zap this in the back end to Dynamax. I feel like this guy kind of just popped in here just to pop a fake out. But if Fly Part outspeeds, which it might, I think it does. That would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. 
Because as long as Lipar doesn't take any damage here, I think we're sitting in a great spot. Because we saw the Focus Dash, we could Dynamax next turn, do the copycat trick, pop a trick room, and get rolling out from there. Because then I have this Dialga. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna withdraw you. Okay, he's gonna straight up withdraw Incineroar and go into Groudon. So Groudon's gonna come out here. And what are you gonna do with a uh, Grimstar? Are you gonna hard swap Grimstar? I hope he doesn't. I sure hope he doesn't. That could be real tough for us. Fake House can come out here. Mwah. Chip up on that. And this thing's going to use a Swagger. Okay, so we're just going to Swagger him up and try to get off a nice little damage boost. I mean, I'm cool with that. Attacks and sharply raised. I'm guessing that thing's Lumberry, right? Yep. Okay, so Lumberry's going to poke out here. This thing is sitting at plus two. He's sitting at plus two completely. Flash Cannon's going to poke through here and get some damage off of this thing. Does it kill it? It does. And I'm kind I kind of don't like that. I kind of don't like that it kills it there. Because he's going to bring it back out in Cinema and kind of screw me up here. He's definitely going to screw me up here. I don't like that. Because now I don't think I can pop a Trick Room. Do I double down with popping Trick Room just to get Hatterene out here? This is such a tough call. Is he going to go back? Please don't go back in Cinema. Okay, he doesn't. Yo, that's lovely. That is lovely. I love that turn. I love that turn. Because in this case, we're just going to copycat you or Dialga. Oh, we cannot. I played it wrong. Did I? How did I do this wrong? I had to put the Alga first. I had to place the Alga first. That's kind of whack. Not even gonna lie, that is super whack. I don't like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. That is very, very stupid. <laughs> I hate this game. I just want the copycat. Oh no, I can just copycat here, can I? And then just go into a Max Guard. Right, that's how it goes. I think we did this right. I think we did this right. Hold up. Hold up. I don't think we have to click on Dialga. But you know what? We're going to Dynamax here. We're going to Max Guard and we're going to Copycat. I'm, I think I did this right. Hopefully I did this right. If we did this right, we're sitting in a great spot. But I, I thought that we had to click on Kai or Dialga in order to actually like confirm that's going to be copycatting his move. But we shall see. We shall see how this one plays out. But obviously our Max Guard is going to come out here first. We can pop a nice little Trick Room. We can get rolling here. And we'll be thriving. We'll be thriving. Because then Dialga can go next turn. I could drop a special defense with fake tears. We, we, we could be looking good here. We could be looking good. But we're sitting in a tough spot anyway. Because he has that plus two Groudon. Who's definitely very, very scary. And then he also has that G-Max Charizard. Who's very, very scary. So let's see what he does from here. Max Charizard can come out here. Come on. Show me I did this right. Please show me I did this right. Happy Cat come in here. And I believe I did it right. The jeans do it right. Trick Room? Yes. <laughs> cool. Trick Room is out and about. We did it right. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope. And what's he going to go for here? He's going to start off probably with a blade. Oh, no. He's got to go. That dude's got to go. He's got to go. That that dude's got to go. He's a problem. He's a problem. He's going into a wildfire. That's going to take out my life part. That's a, that's a problem. That is a problem. We don't like this. That's a problem. <laughs> he reads my max cardio. What a play. What a play. I'll give it to him all day. Okay, so in this case, I could bring out Hatterene. Which is probably my best bet. Bringing out Hatterene here. But, dude, that's a problem. That That's just a problem. We, we have a problem on our hands, guys. A huge problem. Not just a little problem. We got a big problem on our hands. We got to bring out Hatterene here. And what does Misty Explosion do again? User attacks everything around and faints upon. Okay, this power is moved. Oh, faints upon. Let's use this move. Might not be to go to. Good job, at Expanded Force. What do we want to do here? We definitely want to bring out you. He, Definitely a top call here. Definitely a top call to bring out you because we have speed control in this trick room and we have to get rolling here. We have to get rolling here. So what I could do is, you know, just drop a mystical fire, drop a special attack. But I could double down into you. So I kind of want to make it my play. Maybe just drop a steel spike or I can get an attack drop. But we'll do more damage. Definitely this. So we're going to go after you. We got we got, we got, to get after you. Please do not protect. If this thing protects, I'm going to cry. He guards the Charizard, yo. This could be great for us. This could be great for us. Expanded Force. Can we get the KO here? Expanded Forcing and going into the... Oh, that's big damage. We should be able to pick up the KO. This could be huge. Get this thing out of my face. Drop it dead. Let's go, yo. That's a big KO. He max guards the Charizard. And we get rid of a plus four Groudon. There was really no point for him to Sword Dance. I don't think last turn, but it kind of worked out. I think he was just reading Protect and going after it that way. It did work out for him. But well, we get rid of that ground on. We still have Zapdos in the back. And we have Trick Room Thrive here. So what I want to do here is probably just drop a Mystical Fire into Charizard. Drop that thing special attack. And maybe just Max Quake onto the other Pokemon, depending on what it is. Just so we can get that special attack drop on the Charizard. And a special defense boost for his squad. And that's going to be a perfect play for us. 
he can fake out my Hatterene. I think that's going to happen. But we need a special, uh, we need a drop. We need a special defense drop or a special defense boost. So I just think our play is going to be that. Go straight into this and then, you know, just us. Quake right over onto you. He's probably going to fake out Hatterene, but as long as we have the special defense boost, I think we should be fine. But he cancels battle and the Dialga combo works out perfectly. I think our last opponent was very upset. He was just like, blah, 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 this guy's using Trick Room, blah, 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 and just canceled the battle. But hey, we take those all day. We were dominating him, and it actually would have been very close if we would have stayed in that battle. But 1-0, we're hopping into our second battle, and we need a round of applause for our second opponent, baby. Round of applause over here for our guy using a nice little off-meta team. He has Darmanitan, I should say Gal Galarian Darmanitan, and then he has Machamp, Torkoal, Garatina, Mimikyu to probably pop that Trick Room. And then last but not least, he has Indeedee over here. Okay, how should we do this? How should we play this? If he's bringing in DD, I kind of like Hatterene. I feel like Trick Room's an absolute must for him, so I might go here alongside with Zapdos as a lead, then bring the Alga in the back and just let him pop Trick Room. I feel like letting him pop Trick Room can be really good. And then last but not least, maybe going into Celesteel could be great. Celesteel could be good, but the problem is Torkoal over here. Torkoal is a problem, so I might just want to go Landers here. Landers not bad. We have that Assault Vest too, so I'm liking this. We have our uh, Trick Room Dynamax Mon. With Hatterene or Dialga. And then we have Zapdos as a nice little lead. I can get with it all day. And Hatterene could be a nice lead if he leaves Indeedee. Just sets a Psychic Search for us. We can just get after it. We can just get after it that way. But yeah, I can't believe we won that first battle. That was such a good battle. We just took out a nice little Groudon team. Nice Groudon team with G-Max Charizard. And he was set up. But we said, nah, son. Reads a Max card. Actually, we didn't read the Max card. We thought Groudon might protect. We did not expect Charizard to protect. But Charizard protected. And we take those all day. He goes Garatina alongside with Ndidi. Beautiful. Beautiful. He goes into uh, Ndidi. Sets the surge for us. We get Hatterene right up in here. Right up in here, baby. Loving it. Psychic surge is popping. We have Zapdos here who's going to be able to outspeed everyone. Everybody. And we could go into... Hmm, what do we want to go into? We could just go into a Misty Explosion. I could indeed go into a Misty Explosion. And I kind of want to. But at the same time, it's just like, ah, uh, not really. We'll just do this. And do I Thunder? Do I Hurricane? What do I do? I could Dynamax. And I might just Dynamax you. Change terrain up a little bit. Hmm. Could just go for Heat Wave. What do I want to do? We could bank on a Thunder hitting. Or Hurricane hitting could be good. And I'm kind of liking this. Let's go into a Hurricane. I have faith in this Hurricane landing here. Let's see what he's doing here. And he's just straight up Dynamax. Wow, we should have Dynamax. We should have Dynamax. Okay, maybe Lando is going to be our Dynamax Pokemon then. Garatina is going to get that Dynamax. I think he's just going to follow me. Just trying to get after his Pokemon. Trying to get after it with this guy. We should have popped the Trick Room. We should have popped the Trick Room. If we, if we have another chance next turn, we'll definitely do it. But we're landing this Hurricane and we're making this thing get all ducks. And of course, he goes for follow me. So follow me is going to poke out here. Hopefully, we can confuse this Indeedee. But I think we're going to connect it with this Hurricane. And of course we don't. Of course we don't. My RNG's trash, dude. He's going to go into Phantasm. Soak that up, Hatterene. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. I don't like this. <laughs> I hate this game. He gets a defense drop. Uh, we have to bring out our boy, right? We have to bring out our boy. What do we bring out here? Bring out Lando. Wait, Lando might be a play here. Let me see your summary. You, you invested in some attack EVs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, you're, you're all about that Dynamax. He's all about that Dynamax. Let's get up in here. Let's get up in here. Okay, so we have speed. We're definitely faster than both of them. Um, I still could Dynamax my Zapdos, which I might do. I might do that. I think that could be good. Might Dynamax the Zapdos here. Do I do that? But I could fly and dip out this turn and try to dodge a move. Hmm. What's the Jeans play here? What is the Jeans play? Dodge a move? Let's see if we can dodge a move here. Let's Dynamax. We could go into the Lightning. We could go into the Airstream. Lightning's probably our best bet here. Let's do it. Let's drop a Lightning over on this thing. Hopefully, his Garatina is going after the Lander slot. I could definitely see him going after it that way. Maybe going for a Dragon move just to get a physical attack drop. But here comes our Dynamax. We have to get after it now. Our Hatterene's out for the count. Yeah, absolutely dumped on it. I wasn't really expecting the Garatina Dynamax, but. Did. It did indeed with that uh what what item does it hold? Is Grecious Orb? Is that how you pronounce it? Something like that. But yeah. We back. This battle ain't over yet. This battle ain't over yet. This thing's gonna end up protecting. That's a that's a great protect. That's a great protect. 
we need we need this garatina to go after my lando here but we chip up some damage to the protect with smack lightning and let's go fingers crossed for garatina coming in the lando slot and we dodge this move. this could be a big dodge for us this could be a big dodge for us make it happen make it happen dude there's no way you're going after my my zip zap no way you're going after my zip zap bird he goes for phantasm let's go let's go big dodge there big time dodge uh we could go for the lightning again which i think is gonna be our play and we're just gonna have fly poke over here onto this garatina so garatina has one more turn and yo did you just see what it just did it just did like a snaky kind of hey weird look real weird lightning's gonna fly out here we're gonna get off some damage onto this uh indeedy and ko it we do get that thing out of my face dude zapdos is phenomenal he gets that helping hand off and what's he gonna do from here who's he hitting who is he gonna hit fly's gonna poke out here not bad damage nice little chip but we kind of just use it for the dodge he's just gonna go for that phantasm and go after lando lando can you soak helping hand really doing a sturdy there okay so we have one more turn left in dynamax our defense is down and he's out of dynamax turn so this match is definitely winnable for us definitely winnable for us we're gonna bring out my boy dialga here and i'm curious to who's faster i'm curious to who's faster we could pop a trick room but it's like do we pop a trick room actually i could make myself faster which is exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take out that garatina with a war time here i think that has to be a play here 1000 percent right i think going into a war time taking this thing out and just going into an airstream and taking off this thing's disguise is 100 percent our play we need speed we need to start taking after this battle and if, this could work out really really well this could work out well, this could work wonders actually this could work wonders and diago has such a good typing that fairy's not super effective to it i love it due to his steel typing really really good so airstream's gonna poke out here we're gonna take off the disguise and mimic but more importantly get that speed boost for the team making dialga faster than garatina more time should be able to come in here and just say hey yo garatina psh, 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 psh. slap it up a little bit get on out my face and then it can make it a real close game because as long as both these pokemon should survive mimic a real lightweight with Dialga's disguise we can take it out with one flash cannon just get after the battle that way so airstream's gonna poke here this guy's get on out my face get on out my face not dealing with it Can jeans complete the comeback i sure hope so i sure hope so this guy's gonna poke yeah outspeed that garatina please you might not be able to outspeed that mimikyu but you should be able to outspeed that uh garatina do him dirty do him dirty here you outspeed both that's lovely roar time comes through yo pick up the ko this move is deadly kill it let's go get on out of here garatina Get on out my face. Great play by us. Let's see what this Mimikyu is rocking out with. Mimikyu is going to go into a trick room. And who's his last Pokemon? That's the real question. Who's his last Pokemon? I wonder who it is. I wonder who it is. So I can just flash cannon into Mimikyu. That will take him out easily. And then his last Pokemon really determines him. Oh, no! No! God! Yo, it's over. We, we, we lost, didn't we? we lost i feel like the only pokemon that could have taken us out here he has a torkoal god dang torkoal man <laughs> i could go into heat wave but i think we have to land oh we could just go straight into a discharge because we do have telepathy on this thing but my boy dialga has to recharge here are you kidding me he brings out torkoal i'm upset dude we made a great play there he goes to eruption yo eat up somehow guys soak it up all day Dialga soaks, but my boy Zip Zap don't. We kind of need Zip Zap too. Dialga has to recharge. Here comes the play rough. That probably takes him out, right? Yep, GG's. God dang it. Did we make a great play at the end there, but we end up losing that battle. But I feel like we, we lost this battle due to me not protecting that Hatterene in turn one or swapping it out. It's time to grab ourselves a winning record. We're sitting one and one with two great battles for today's video. Our first battle, you know, we dominated. We showcased the live part and Dialga Trick Room combo, made our guy cancel. And then that second battle, we played actually really, really well besides letting our Hatterene go down. But in the end, he Trick Rooms and brings out the one and only Torkoal. Does this real dirty. It did us real dirty. But we're hopping into our third battle here. And this guy's got a really cool team. He's got Bocephalon. I'm guessing mind blowing Bocephalon to go inside the drill. So if he brings that out here, we have to be able to bring out two Pokemon that can, you know, protect. And I don't think I have two Pokemon that can protect, do I? Let me see my moves. No protect. Oh, we do have Wide Guard. What are we bringing you out? We're bringing out you all day, Celestial. You're getting the lead just in case Mind Bloom wants to come out here. We could go uh, Hatterene as well to pop a Trick Room. I do like that. Because Dialga kind of gets something on by Groudon. So I'm going to go into you, pop a Trick Room, and I'm going to bring Dialga in the back end. And last but not least, Zip Zap. 
Zip Zap could come in here. Just in case we can't get off Trick Room, we can thrive out with that. Let's do it. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record here in battle number three. But I'm hoping he goes into the Mind Blown combo. I mean, if not, what what would he go into? Venusaur and... Venusaur and Groudon? But then I can still just Wide Guard, right? I feel like Wide Guard is just our play. I think it's just our play all day. Let's see. I'm kind of hoping he goes into Blacephalon. He can protect. We can Wide Guard. We can pop a Trick Room. And we can get Thriving from there. I could really like where we're sitting. If we can do that, especially if we can get off like a Meteor Beam or something... We could be really sitting in a good spot. And there it is, yo. Go out on and Cephalon. Do come out here. Okay. All right. I'm cool with this all day. I'm cool with this all day. Let's pop a Trick Room. Let's drop a Wide Guard. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We wanted this combo from the beginning. And I'm not backing out of it now. I'm not overthinking it. He's going to go into that Mind Blown combo, right? Let's do it. Wide Guard coming out here. Block my Pokemon. And if we can pop this Trick Room, we can go into a Meteor Beam and then potentially Dynamax Celestial. We could be sitting in a very, very good spot. So show me the Protect on the ground on. If Groudon protects, we know Mind Blown's coming in here. Wait, Mind Blown hits everything on the field. He's just gonna witch all ground. Who are you going into? That's the real question. Arcanine's coming in here. Okay. So maybe he's still going into Mind Blown. Why aren't you gonna poke here? I sure hope so. Let's see what he does. Why guard on team? And there comes the Mind Blown. Yo, get the block. I think he's just hitting up on Arcanine. Big Wide Guard coming in hot here. Get out my face. Oh, and this thing's Flash Fire. So that's this thing combo. It's a really co cool turn there. This thing just takes half health. We pop a lovely trick room. A lovely trick room. God, dude, get out of my face, dude. Hey, yo, do me a favor, yo. Arcanine, hold this meteor beam. Hold this meteor beam for me. And then we can just go into a lovely little expanded force. And this should be able to take out Bocephalon, right? Battle was canceled, yo. There it is, yo. It's that easy. It's that easy. Yeah. 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 Let's get it, yo. Winning record for today's video. Made that dude cancel in less than a turn. Just protect it with that wide guard. Set up a trick room. This guy was like, nah, yo, I'm out of here. Jeans is going to slap on me. But yo, hopefully you guys did enjoy the content for today. Rather short video due to that last battle being so quick. But yo, we grabbed ourselves a winning record for today and had three great battles for today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.